You want to know, see what we're doing? Can I hit it? No. <laughs> There's more to it than just hitting it. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to Lowry's Garage. Uh, like and subscribe. You know, uh, follow us on Facebook. There's other stuff that we do on there too. Uh, and those friends of mine on Facebook they, that have been nice enough to been give me likes on Facebook, could you shoot me a like here on YouTube? It will really help the channel grow. Uh, and you're wondering why I'm laying on the floor. Well, you ever have one of those days when everything starts off good? You think, wow, this is going to be a great day. And then it feels like somebody kicked you in the, well, you know what I mean. That's been the day. Got a lot of good work done today. And I'll show you that in just a second. But I'm going to show you the bad part first. My rocker panels on this truck had a quarter size hole in this rocker panel. So I started cleaning it up, see what I had, and then, as you can tell, that's bigger than a quarter. And so is that. Yep, that's the way my luck's going. Now, looks like I'm doing some metal work. And guys, if you want to see me do some of this metal work, I am more than happy to show you. Uh, it's, uh, it's time consuming, but I find it to be satisfying when I'm doing it. As far as the other part, I'll cut in right here and I'll show you the way the gap at the top of the fender when did When we look. left off, I put the fender on. We discussed door gaps and we just discussed this. Not fitting, I told you I was going to trim a piece of metal to make it fill the gap. And this is what I will end up tack, uh, tag, uh, TIG welding in right there. I'll tack it here and then I'll TIG weld it. That improves the shape by a lot. Take it in and get it looking good. Now, some of the other welding that's going to have to be took care of on this is there are trim holes here two here one all the way up here and two down here and a couple back here now what i'm going to do to fill them a hole punch for setting body panels yeah and it punches a hole for you to, to spot weld it back together after you've set a new piece of panel in I will use the holes that come from that. I should have some here. <sighs> have you ever noticed right when you say, well, here. It punches this size hole. All right. And what I'll do is I'll drill these out because they're just not quite the right size. I'll drill them out that little bit they need to, so I can take the hole punchers I punch out of these, set them in place, and weld them in. Uh, I know this is... Yeah. Hope you find it interesting. Uh, things that's got to be done. We got the back of the cab. Pretty much prepped, except for right along the bottom. It's pretty much prepped for its first coat of primer. I got, well, I got two little dings. I don't know if you'll even be able to see them on the camera. There's a couple of dings right here I have to fill. There's some spots in the door. I got most of them out, but there's still a few spots I got to fill on this door. The other door's got a dent that's been in it, and where it's at, I can't get into it to straighten it. It's behind the hinge area. Uh, it's right here. I will sand this back off, and we'll be filling here. Do a little fill back here because there's a few spots here. After these are welded, they'll need a little fill. And that 
gets into the boring part of paintwork. From there, it's fill, block, sand, fill if it needs a little more, block, sand, primer, block, sand, primer some more, block, sand, guide coat it, block it, sand it, <laughs> primer it some more, maybe, hopefully not, we'll see. And then we'll finally get to color. All right, well, let me get to work. <laughs> I know that's a short video. Uh, I just got to repeat this process. Oh, what is our two, four, six, eight, sixteen, or seventeen more times, fifteen more times on the outside of the body. If I don't fill the holes in the fenders, which I still may, and then I have all the trim holes on the inside of the cab where it used to have be trimmed, that I have to do the same thing on. And I'm sure you guys don't want to sit here and watch me weld up 30 some holes. If you're interested in the yeah. metal work, I'll be happy to show you. Now the next video I'm gonna do, will be on the front suspension. I've lowered this truck and I've increased the suspension travel so that for racing, so when I come out of the hole, it can lift much higher, put more weight on the back wheels before the front tires come off the ground. Will it bring the tires off the ground? I don't know yet. We ain't ran it yet to find out. Uh, if it does it the way it is now, it will eventually. Uh, yeah. I don't mind answering any questions you guys have. Uh, really, I don't. If you got a question, ask me. I'll tell you what I know. Follow me on uh, Facebook, on Lowry's Garage on Facebook. There's some pictures of some other metal work I've done on there. That if you want to check it out, uh, like and subscribe here. Uh, share, share this with your friends. All right, well, uh, y'all have a happy Easter, and I'll catch you later.